Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Toledo Batman. I'm Eli, and if you guys love Batman as much as I do, consider subscribing because today is something really, really awesome. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a Batman utility belt. Yes, I'm gonna teach you guys how to take this and turn it into into this. Yeah, look at <laughs> Gonna teach you guys how to make your very own Batman utility belt. Yeah, so you guys can be your own crime fighters and take justice into your own hands. Well, maybe around the neighborhood. But anyway, <laughs> if you guys want the patterns uh, that I use in this video, they're available on my Patreon page. Uh, link is in the description. Also, if you guys don't wanna make your own utility belt and you want me to personally make your utility belt, check me out on Etsy. I have an Etsy store, uh, TB Creations. Uh, anyway, there's gonna be a link in the description. So check that out and you guys can purchase or make, it's up to you, your very own Batman utility belt. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. Now uh, it is time to cut out the patterns and the fabric uh, before we put it all together. But I just wanted to go over the patterns really quick. Take a quick second. If you guys get my patterns off of Etsy or Patreon, uh, you're gonna get four patterns. You're gonna get the dummy pouch, you're gonna get the um, picture pouch and the wallet pouch and the cell phone pouch. Now uh, the dummy pouch was just designed to look uh, like Batman. It didn't have any function I needed. These three over here, I needed to hold my wallet for conventions or uh, going to the dressing up and going to the hospital. I needed to hold my cell phone in the suit and also souvenir pictures I thought would give to, like to the kids. Here's like a souvenir picture and then, but that didn't really work out. So I just used this one for like anything. I mean, you could even take, you can put the battery, you can put your battery in it. Um, you could put your your grappling uh, launcher fits it fits in it it does it's not gonna you know really fall out um but who knows maybe we'll make a just a certain pocket or something i don't know um but yeah so those are the four pockets uh patterns that you get when you uh get the patterns off of patreon oh and I should mention, uh, the dummy pouch, the same assembly, it's, it's all the same. The only difference is the size, that's it. Um, assembling the pouches. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is gonna make the dummy pocket. So let's cut all the fabric out for that right now. All right, well, time to cut out the fabric. You're gonna need about a half a yard of fabric, if not less. And what you want to do is you want to evenly lay out your pattern so when you're cutting, you don't waste any material. Oh, and I should mention these notches right here. I forgot to add them, so you're just going to have to add them yourself, but they will get cut out. Then, after you're done tracing, make sure to label all your pieces so that way you don't uh, get them mixed up. And you will do not want to use a Sharpie on this fabric. It will bleed right through. So use a pen or a fabric pencil. Once you're done cutting out all the pieces, it should look something like this. Now you're ready to go on to the next step, which is cutting out the lining. Now we are going to cut out the black fabric. To cut this out, you could use a white fabric pencil, but all I did was just use the back flap leather fabric as a guide to cut the lining out. Then, if you'd like, you can use spray adhesive to attach the lining to the back of the flap. Stick it down like that so when you're in the sewing machine, it doesn't move around. Yeah. Hey guys, so we are ready to sew. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, what to do first? I don't know. I think I know what to, that what I did first. I did the front flap. We're called, no, the front of the pouch. I did the front of the pouch first, is what I did. And you wanna take the notches, and you wanna make some notches. 
You can do this beforehand or after. It's totally up to you. Basically, you just take it there and you cut away the fabric like shoe. And you want it. Now the seam allowance is, I'm pretty sure it's a half an inch. Uh, sweet, so yeah, you get, I gave about a half an inch of seam allowance. You want to sew on the red line. You want to sew on this red line here. The first thing we are going to do is sew the front strip to the front of the pouch. These two things go together. For this, you will have to pin the front strip to the front of the pouch. I just used three pins and make sure to use the ruler to center it on the front of the pouch. Then sew the left and right side of the strip to the front of the pouch. It should look something like this when you're done. Pro tip, by the way, make sure you have a trash can for all your loose uh, threads. That's which you just cut them off. That way they don't get, you know, just in case it gets trapped in the thing. You don't want the sewing machine to get clogged or anything like that. There it is. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now that's done. Now, on to the second part. Uh, you want to take this and you want to cut at the four points, just a half an inch at each point, ever so slightly. There we go. Because you're gonna you're gonna fold this down and fold this over and then fold this one over, and it's gonna create that point of the pouch. Pinning that down will help with the next step. Next, we are going to work on the flap stripe. So this is the flap, and this is the stripe that. Uh, goes right there. First, what you want to do is find the point where the stripe is going to sit on the flap of the pouch. Then fold the stripe into a rectangle. You want to create this. You want to create this. So by folding this in and then folding this this way, right? And then basically you just put it under the needle. Perfect. Done. And there we go. There it is. It's not beautiful, but it will work. Then, on the top, cut a half an inch down on the fold of the rectangle on the left and right side. Then, at the bottom of the cut, remove the back of the stripe. Once you've done that, fold it into a point and pin it to the flap of the pouch and sew it on. Stick it under the needle. Sweet! And there you go. And, and that looks just like that on both sides. Now it is time to take the black fabric and sew it to the back flap. So when you open the pouch on your utility belt, it looks like the inside is fully lined. You will need to pin the two fabrics together and sew them down on the left and right sides. Should look something like this when you're done. Now we are going to sew the belt loop because we still want to get inside the seam here like so, um, as you guys can see. But we are just simply, I mean, it couldn't be any easier. <laughs> That's a little crooked. I'm gonna have to do it again. I mean, it couldn't be any easier. It is very important that you get this as straight as possible across the back because this will be how it sits on your utility belt. Okay, I totally messed this up. I'm gonna pin this in because that stitch freaking sucked. <laughs> it really did. To fix my mistake, this time I pinned the loop to the back of the pouch and sewed it on again, making sure to go slow and straight. You can even take a ruler and draw a straight line on the fabric to guide you. After I made sure that it sat perfectly on the belt, look at that, that beautiful. Then I folded the loop over pinned it down for later. Next, we are going to sew on the sides to the front of the pouch. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna get your uh, bottom. This is the bottom. You're gonna take it, you're gonna place them this way, 
in orientation. So, because you're gonna sew along here a half an inch, right? Right where your notch is. And then it's gonna come out like that. That's what you're gonna have once the finished product is done. Very nice. Very nice. Align the two halves, put them under the needle, and begin to sew, making sure to give a half an inch seam allowance. Here we go. All right, so you have just now completed that, and that is what that looks like. That's what it should look like, and that's what I'm sticking with, because I think that's what I did. <laughs> Pretty much, it is that simple. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut at the side where the notch is. You're gonna line it up, cut it, and that's it. That's all you're gonna do. That's the only cut you need because now we're gonna take it and we are going to turn it. So the notches like this, can you guys see that? So the notches line up just like so. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna sew along here like that. You're gonna sew that. That is that, my friends. And then you're gonna do the opposite. So you cut this one last time, you're gonna cut this one right there. You're gonna cut right here, like so. Boom! And then you line it up, take it, put it in the sewing machine, the half an inch mark, and hope it works. Sweet! Look at this, guys, it's exciting. We have a pouch starting to form and you wanna put turn it inside out, that way you can check it. Next, what we are going to do is work on attaching the back flap to the front of the pouch. Grab the back flap you want to make some alignment cuts. To do this, align the back flap so it is facing inward toward the pouch. Cut on the left and right Ooh, corners of the bottom. <laughs> Should work. All right, so here we are. We have pinned it together. The flap and the back are all one piece. And now I'm just going to take it and do one side at a time. If you're really skilled at sewing, you can do all three sides at once. It's just too complicated for me, so I'm just doing it my way. One side is done. All right, we are now sewing the bottom. As you can see, I have pinned it all in. So it doesn't move and I am now about to attempt this for the first time. I've never done it before so everybody hold on to your pockets. Now all that's left is to pin up the last side and sew it together. We are good. We are golden like the golden girls. There we go, guys. We have a pouch. Let's take a look, see how we did. Hopefully everything's straight. That's the one thing you really wanna watch out for, is having straight lines when you're sewing. That's the most important part. And make sure everything is evenly spaced. But, oh. There we go. And look at that. Look how nice that looks, right? Compared to last time. So much better, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really good. Mm-hmm. Is that a nice? Is that a nice? <laughs> so, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Guys, check this out. There are two ways you can make your utility belt. One, you can have it like this, right? You just fold it over and you sew straight up like that. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fold this this way, and I'm gonna fold this this way, so it's gonna, it's gonna end like that, basically. That's what it's gonna look like in the end.
Hey, look at that. There we go. Not entirely great, but it looks pretty dang nice. Side profile. Oh yeah, there we go guys. All right, you have a Batman pouch. You did it. Completely done with the sewing portion of this video. All right. Insanely heavy. We are gonna now put on the snap. There we go. Talk about the things I use. That goes in the front and closes it all together. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. You're gonna need some snaps. That's enough. We just need one. <laughs> First, we have to puncture the hole and get it to where we want it. Cool, now you're gonna take this little tool, put this in, pop these out. We are gonna do the top first, so you wanna take your button that's gonna go on top. You're gonna place it up, mainly like right there, and you're just gonna press down and it's gonna make an imprint. That's all I'm doing is just making a small imprint. Huh. All I do, I don't know. You heard it? I heard it. There we go. Now for the top of the button, like so. Almost there. Line everything up. Push down as hard as it goes. And there we go. You have now attached the button. That is what it looks like. Hmm? You just want to get it to where you want it. And you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to press down really hard. It's going to make a small imprint. Hey, there we go. One snap completed. You can. I don't know if you guys want, but I can make these available. These are um, little Batman stickers that, that I put on. My friend uh, Miranda, she made these for me. I'll show you guys. So you just take your X-Acto knife. They're so super, super tiny. You gotta put it at the end of the, the X-Acto knife. And you just line it up there in the center. Bam, done. Stick it down. You're good to go. Now you got the little Batman symbol in the center, giving it that Batman flair. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want this available. I'll try to see what I can do to make these available for you guys. But don't get your hopes up, because who knows, I may not <laughs> be able to. And now it is time to talk about the utility belt assembly and how I made my utility belt. Um, this. This three inch cowhide, I bought this on eBay. The belt buckle I got from Artsy One. He has an Etsy store, also look him up online. He's on Facebook and all that. I'll put a link in the description where I got the belt buckle. The buckle itself, I got this on Amazon and it was just a, I don't know, just a belt. And I, I'm like, hey, that looks cool. And it makes a cool sound. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it kind of makes like a, it sounds like a utility belt, like Batman would have. I do want to improve on it. I put some Velcro there because when I'm wearing it, it kind of sits like that. It doesn't sit straight and flush. But yeah, I just need to improve upon it. And that's just, you know, trial and error. And this was my first attempt and I already know how to make it better. I might actually cut this out. So the bats cut out and you actually see the bat and part of the buckle over on this side come together. So it really will feel like you're Batman. That was my hope and goal with this. I was like, everything has to be functional. It has to buckle in the front. It can't buckle in the back. I might make this two and a half inches instead of three. Three is just a little big, but I thought it worked with the belt buckle, you know? So that's why I went with three. But I think just taking off a half an inch from the cowhide will work. Now, it took some trial and error but I finally, Angela's brand, a yellow acrylic leather paint. Keep out of reach of children. So yeah, that's what I used. I just rolled it on, on both sides of the leather. This was the excess piece that I didn't need. And then I took a JBL weld, that's what I did. And I glued the belt buckle using that to the cowhide. And I used the inside here, as you can see, I glued that down with JBL weld. So that's not, going anywhere. Also did it over here. I just cut cut this belt apart and glued it to my already existing belt. Oh, I almost forgot the tubes. Yes, the tubes basically 
This is a rubber cork that you get at Home Depot. The tubes I got at a convention. If you guys can find tubes, uh, let me know because I'd be happy to show you how I made these. But basically I just took some fabric, some elastic, and I attached it to the tube and bam, you got tubes, Batman tubes. I think they should go, should they go here? And then, yeah, let's see how that would look. I'm now going to show you guys how the Batman utility belt gets assembled. Basically you take it like this. All right, there we go. And we take two pouches. This is the original pouch. That was the first prototype. <laughs> hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, oh yeah, and I want to talk about, where is it? I almost forgot, this foam here. You can, uh, this is just the poultry foam that I cut up. I didn't even do a good job. You could take whatever, but I'm just shoving this in here like this, all right? And boom, and it gives it that nice definition to the pockets. Yeah, that's how I do that. <laughs> oh, secrets. <laughs> and the last one, which is the new one, added to the belt pouch family. Should go on no freaking problem. And then the tube. There we go. Let's try it out. And let's see how it looks. Wah. There, that's a bat belt. That looks cool. And everything works. You can even, where are you? Take, put your battering. Here we go. Fits. Now you. Whoosh. So yeah, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, that is one Batman utility belt. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Really, really quickly, I want to talk about where I got the original original patterns from. I think it's called cosplay for. Christ? Jesus Christ? No. Yeah, cosplay for Christ. I'll put a link in the description, but this Scott, Scott, uh, I know his first name's Scott. He made these patterns. He's a YouTuber. Check him out. Um, and that's where I got learned how to make pouches from him. So thank you so much, because otherwise I would have not got into this. I would have not got into this without your video, Scott. But yeah, thank you for that. I'll definitely put a link in the description and that's where I learned to do this. That's his pattern, Scott's pattern. Very, very cool. All right, guys, and that's everything you guys need to know about building a Batman utility belt. That's how I went about doing it. I bet I got this from eBay and the rest from Amazon and Joanne Fabrics. That's it. That's really it. That's all it is to it. Okay, cool. There we go, and that is how you make a Batman utility belt. Yes, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, I want to mention, if you guys make this utility belt, make sure to share photos on Instagram, Facebook, and use the hashtag ToledoBatmanDIY. That way, I can see your guys' awesome work and maybe feature it in the next DIY. We'll see. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So comment down below what you guys think of the belt. Also, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a bat-tastic day. I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye.